Usually, we see uh, GAC co-host Nan Kelly out on the red carpet hanging with some of country music's top stars, yes. but one of her other favorite hangouts is in the kitchen, and we're happy to have her Thank with you. us in the studio today. Got a brand new cookbook Thank out, you, lots of great stuff, but good to have you back. How nice you doing? Nice to see you. are doing really great. You know, I, I'm a girl who loves to eat, uh -huh. so I had to really learn how to cook, and if I can do it all in one pan, you know, food is kind of like a gathering thing uh -huh. for all of us. Okay. It's social. So if I can do everything in one pan, you have more time around the table with your family and less time over the sink mm -hmm. washing up those dishes. I like that. I like that. <laughs> all right, so get us started with this one here. Great. Okay, so this is creamy corn and Cajun shrimp and mm -hmm. with bacon. I okay. think I said that backwards, but it's a great Cajun dish. I grew up 90 miles from, from New Orleans and Cajun food is a big influence. And my husband gave me the name One Pan Nan years ago when he started looking at my casseroles and was like, are you trying to cook everything <laughs> in one pan? Okay, this dish starts out with, with sauteed shrimp. So okay. a pound of saute, sauteed shrimp, a little salt, little pepper and butter. I've already done that. And then the next step, we fry up six pieces of bacon, mm -hmm. kind of cup, chop them up, fry it up and leave about a tablespoon, <clears throat> excuse Excuse me, of bacon grease in the pan because bacon grease makes everything taste good. It does, good. doesn't it? <laughs> so, yeah. So, we're going to dump in next the Trinity, tomato Trinity. This, you know, Cajun folks, the, the Trinity for them is bell pepper and celery and onion. Well, this is the tomato Trinity, leaving out the celery, okay. substituting it for the tomato. The tomatoes, all right. Yep. So, I'm going to let you give that a stir. Okay. So we're just going to cook that until it, um, you're okay with helping me cook, aren't you? I am, yes. All right, uh, you're going to be okay with helping me eat, right? Amen. <laughs> Good to you. So we're just going to mix all that together, okay. Leland, and we'll get that nice and soft. And then, you know, corn is coming in all across the country. This is corn from Florida, I saw mm -hmm. in the grocery store. So fresh corn is our next ingredient. I've cut, I've cut the corn off of three cobs okay. um, and taken the back of the knife and kind of gotten the juice in there so it's fresh corn. I'm going to dump that in. And while fresh corn is best, especially right now, if they wanted to drain a can of corn or sure. maybe use frozen corn, that, that's all right. Absolutely. It's probably about at least a two full cups, maybe just a little more. Okay. So we've got that in there. We're going to take a little half and half because mm -hmm. that's going to give it that creamy element. And we're going to pour that in. And then the blackening seasoning. I love this. This is uh, herbs. This is a, a Cajun um, dish and it's uh, a Cajun flavor. This is herbs and black pepper and white pepper and red pepper. Okay. So we're going to dump that in too. And we're gonna give a little bit a, of a kick? A little bit of a kick. Yeah, <laughs> it'll get a little sweat coming up uh -huh. on your nose, but it's nice and, and good. So if you, if you like Cajun food, you know, I'm going to do this for shrimp today, Leland, but we were talking before we came up on camera. You could do it with um, crawfish right. to mm -hmm. make it truly Cajun and truly authentic, or you could use scallops if you wanted to. Okay. So, so go you ahead and go ahead put this go in ahead here? dump okay. that in. <clears throat> All right, just for, under a minute here with everything. Got it. Well, we're going to let that, we're going to pretend that that's softening up. So okay. it's all softening up, and but well, let's just go ahead and dump the last little step in there. The shrimp. Let's just right. give that a nice big stir, and we'll plate that up, and you're going to top it with um, a little bit of chives. So mm -hmm. stir that up just we'll a little bit. Stir that up bit. a little bit yep. more. And let's talk about the cookbook here real quick. First oh, cookbook and lots of great one pan dishes well, in there, right? Thank you. It's, um, you know, I've been for years collecting recipes. My friend Claire is here with me. There's some family recipes, my mother-in-law's, my mom's. Mm -hmm. I'm all about one pan, and this is, you know, desserts, soups, breakfast, dinners, 59 res recipes and all. It's my first little cookbook, Good. but it'll get you started. All right, Meryl's going to come in and taste this, and while she's coming in, we're going to link this on our website, but oh, you've also you. got a website, too, where they can go and get this information. I do. It's called OnePanNan.com, um, and this recipe will be there, as well as a way to, to bring home my book. Let's type yeah. this off with think? some chives. I love it. And she right, loves Ms. stuff Meryl. with a kick, too. Uh, now, how are you? Do you like stuff with a kick? It depends on what it is. This, I think I will. You throw bacon into anything. Yeah, you make yeah. it. It's it super makes good. It good. Well, if you want to try that, you can. All right. So yeah, she's going to try a little bit more. I'm going to try some after I say this. You got it. This is recipe number 5205 <laughs> online right now in the Talk of the Town section at newschannel5.com. Thank you for being thank with you, us, and good luck with the book. Thank you so much. Thank you, Meryl. Oh, man. Thank you for lunch. This is going to be great. My my pleasure. All right, we're going to link you to One Pan Nan for more information on the cookbook. I think you're going to love this.